Come on, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Come on. I got this. Oh. Small screen got you down. Retro Ralph's got you back. Hey guys, Retro Ralph here. So I wanted to cover a couple things before we get started. So one, I'm assuming that um, you know how to take your Arcade 1UP apart because you put it together. So I'm not gonna show you how to get your, uh, wow. I'm not gonna show you how to get your stock monitor out. Um, but pretty, pretty easy, you just kind of reverse the process. I'm also not showing you how to create your bezel. So, um, I won't be covering the bezel in the video. Uh, we will cover it in a subsequent video though. It's pretty straightforward. It does require a little bit more customization because you have to go buy a piece of plexiglass and you have to cut it and do some spray painting and some masking. So in this video, it's gonna be definitely more of a proof of concept showing that you can take a 17 inch monitor, stock one up and put a 19 inch monitor in. I am using a product that is designed for arcades. So it's designed to take out CRTs and put in an LCD. So it is a little bit more expensive. However, it makes the modification a lot easier. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do in today's episode is we're gonna modify this stock arcade one-up monitor mount to accept the 19 inch arcade LCD. Now, um, I took the arcade one-up monitor out. I took all the supplied hardware off. So all I've got right now is the actual board. Um, you're gonna need a couple things to do this. You're gonna need a jigsaw with a wood blade uh, hopefully you have a working space, obviously, and uh, something to secure the monitor mount down to make the required cuts. Um, what I did prior to this is I outlined the cut I need to make. Um, I'll show you that um, after. And then hopefully what we'll end up with is, a, um, is being able to reutilize the stock monitor mount to accept a much larger 19-inch LCD display. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, let's speed things up a little bit here. So lessons learned as I was doing this is make sure you drill some holes around that square just to get your uh, jigsaw started. I've told you guys this in the past. I'm not the best at woodworking. So this kind of stuff goes a little bit out of my comfort zone. But just take your time. Um, don't worry about being perfect because eventually you'll put the monitor bezel over it and any of those little mistakes or little issues that you came across will be hidden by the bezel. So no worries there. Okay guys, so what we have when we're all finished is a retro Ralph version of a square hole um, or a square. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, if you have a table saw, you could do this a lot cleaner, but all I have is a jigsaw, so I gotta make do with what I have, and I know a lot of you aren't necessarily woodworkers, so you don't have a bunch of these tools laying around. But a jigsaw, you can get fairly cheap if you have a Harbor Freight or um, you know, you find a deal at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. So anyway, so providing I've done this okay, uh, it should fit right in, and uh, my, my balance of where I'm a little forgiving is the bezel I'm gonna use, because if I use a bezel, I can kinda cover up any you know, mistakes I might have made because there might be some small gaps because of course it's not going to be perfect. But anyway, so we'll go inside, see if this thing fits and then, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty much off and running. Okay guys, so I'm back inside and I have my monitor mount that we did outside. You can see it's the Arcade 1UP stock, stock monitor mount and I've got my 19 inch LCD. I got this from Holland Computers. I'll have a, a link to the description below, but um, it's got a controller board already on it, so uh, it accepts VGA. So if VGA isn't something that uh, you want to do, you can actually remove this and use the controller boards that you guys are all using to do your other modifications, and I'll have links to those as well. So if you wanted this to be native HDMI, you could just take this off and put your own controller board on. But uh, I'm, I'm probably going to leave it as VGA because uh, um, I think that'll work for the modification that I'm doing and I'm planning on using this for. Okay, so how do we get this... Uh, you know, inside this mount. So what I would say we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of the way, put the monitor um, down like this. So first we're gonna see if our cuts came out okay. And keep in mind guys, like I said, I'm not a woodworker, I'm not great at that. So if it came out a little bit sloppy, no big deal. So I'm gonna see if I can push this on into place without too much force. All right, so 
you know, I see a little bit of, I see a couple gaps and stuff, but uh, it fit pretty good. So it's snug, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna carefully flip it over. And that's that, I mean, we got it mounted. So here's the thing, it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have gaps and stuff. Um, but what I would say is um, we're gonna put a bezel over this, so we're gonna cover all this up. Um, you know, there's a couple options you could do here. You could just go get a piece of plexiglass uh, from Home Depot and um, you can cut plexi with a jigsaw too. There's a special uh, plexiglass blade you can buy. I'll put that in the link in the description too. But what I was thinking about doing is laying a piece of plexiglass over this, kind of outlining where I want the monitor to show through, uh, masking, taping that off and sort of spraying it like a gloss black or something. So all I would see at the end of the day is just the screen. And the cool thing about that is I could use the stock holes here um, where they mounted the stock one-up bezel. I feel like that's probably a pretty cool solution. That's probably what I'm gonna do. On the Neo Geo mod that I haven't done a video for yet, I did something different, but I think that's what I'm gonna do for this one. So um, that's as far as I'm gonna go with this video, um, but I just wanted you guys to know that it is possible to put a 19 inch display in these stock boards and you don't have to come up with any funky configurations because as you can see, it, uh, it mounts straight into the front without an issue and um, there's still plenty of room. There's actually still room to use your stock one-up mounts. So. It's beautiful, easy to do. Hey guys, we forgot to cover something. So what did I do with the 19 inch monitor? I actually ended up putting it in the Street Fighter 4 modification. So super excited the way it turned out. Uh, makes a huge difference to play Street Fighter on a 19 inch monitor versus a 17 inch monitor. I'm really, really enjoying it. Again, I didn't cover the bezel, but I promise I will have a subsequent video at some point covering that. It's a little bit more involved and it takes some serious patience, which we know Retro Ralph doesn't always have, but I'm trying to get there. Um, anyhow, thanks again, guys. I had a lot of fun with this one and, um, I'll see you in the next one.